Now, the federal government said it recovered over 80 billion naira, which is $609 million and 5.4 million euros in liquid assets between 2017 and 2023. Following the introduction of the whistleblowing policy by the immediate past administration of President Mohamed Buhari. It also disclosed that all recoveries were lodged in the federal government's Naira assets recovery accounts maintained by the Office of the Council General of the Federation and domiciled in the Central Bank of Nigeria. Director of Presidential Initiative and Continuous Audit, Ministry of Finance, Yusuf Sule, made a disclosure yesterday in Abuja Artist Sensitization Workshop on the implementation of the whistleblowing policy in Nigeria, issues, challenges, and the way forward. But Sule did not provide any hint on immovable assets recovered during the review period. As in his keynote address, Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Mr. Waliadun, stated that the whistleblowing policy established clear procedures for reporting financial malpractices. As the doing said, these had helped in ensuring confidentiality and protection of the whistleblower. Permit me to state that it is our collective responsibility to create an environment where the Nigerian people, the Nigerian populace, feel confident and protected in reporting unethical, illegal, untoward, uh, wrong practices that can jeopardize the interests of all, that can jeopardize the development of our country that we so honestly seek. The successful whistleblowing policy involves receiving verifiable reports, conducting thorough investigations to authenticate them, and taking appropriate action to enforce compliance with the law. We are committed to implement the present government's agenda to the letter, and therefore no stone would be left on time to ensure that a legal framework is put in place to drive the implementation of the policy. The whistleblowing policy since its inception in December 2016 has proved to be one of the veritable tools in uncovering corrupt practices within the public and private sectors. It has empowered citizens to report to the relevant authorities about identified misappropriation of public funds and other fraudulent activities. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.